Can I take a little time? Is that okay? Oh, oh, hold on, Brian. Just, just, you can keep it. I, I, yeah, but it's, can I take a, just a second? Is that okay? When I was young, my pop used to work on his messages and his sermons. He used to try to tell me he had work to do. But I was two, three, four. I couldn't pronounce that. I didn't speak as good as Deuce or Bishop Bronner. And I would say the what to do. What to do, Daddy. And from then on, all I saw was a man who was about the work of the Lord. Dion, I appreciate you because you got up here and you said it how it is. That for a lot of different mediums and platforms, the name Bishop Eddie Lee Long was used to make headlines. But he was our, and still is our lifeline. And so, Before you begin to talk about somebody and say something sideways about somebody, decide to be Christ first and pray for them. Decide to be Christ first and go to them and see, what can I do to help you? Because I heard they say it. And I'm trying still to figure out who the hell is they. We always hear what they say, but we never see they. They never show their face. They never, we just, I'm sorry, man, let's just. At some point, what Paul said has to be true. You can prophesy, you can preach great sermons all around the world. Speak in tongue, all that, but if you don't disseminate love to one another, then it's no good. You wasted your time and God's time, and it's a mockery of the kingdom. All Bishop Eddie Long did was demonstrate love. The reason why we're in here right now is because he took you, as Corey said, and whatever your situation was, and he still saw the opportunity when everybody else said turn their back on you. And so if we're going to move forward, we got to move forward with the same principles. And I want to announce to everybody the stream, and I, I'm no fool to think that everybody came in here today morning. But there are a few that came just to make sure that he was in a casket. There were a few that came just to see him uh, uh, with a little makeup and stuff. I'm just saying, okay, good, he's gone to rest. But I want to announce to you that the tomb is empty. John 20, Mary was looking, she said, the tomb is empty. Where is he? He said, no, 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 no. Yeah, you, you see all that clergy stuff that we had on him. He looked good. He had his ring on and his chain on him. But his spirit got up. And as I look at all over here, I am convinced that his spirit has jumped on. It was more contagious than a cold. And it's hachu, it's on you. And it's hachu, it's on you. Hachu, it's on you. It's his spirit. It's still alive. This is very long will live forever. I have to be honest. I have to be honest. Growing up, Brian, you can keep it going. A lot of times when I saw my dad mentoring young men, when I saw him mentoring young women, I'd just be honest, I would get a little upset. That would bother me. That, I mean, I've just got to be real with you. And for 34 years of my life, since October 6, 1982, I had my biological father. To the kingdom, Bishop Eddie Long was Michael Jackson of Prince to music. 
or Jordan the basketball. <laughs> Ali the boxer. No, you, you, you follow my drift. Trendsetter, muscle shirts, Mr. T starter set. Every hairstyle you can imagine. Zoot suits, bell bottoms, and then tight fitting. Just however you want it, he was going to give it to you. All things to all men. But it wasn't until January 15th, 2017, when I, when we, that was a great moment. We were able to stand around our father. It wasn't until then that I recognized that I was a little wrong. Because if it wasn't for his mentorship, and his love and his leadership and his counsel and standing in the place for some of you all's biological father, what have you, that you literally would have been dead. You literally would have not been here today. You literally would have been deceased. And so I apologize to you. And understand that this man had an unconditional love. And so to all who have said something wild and crazy about him, I believe we can attest that he would say today, I forgive you and I love you. And the same God that took me and washed me and bathed me through his son Jesus the Christ is still available to you right now. And so for some who may have came just to see him in a tomb, if you need to make amends, it's available to you now. We hold nothing against you but love. And that's the type of what to do that we still have to do, New Birth. I love you.